it's it's a it's an interior subjective experience that is that is not something that is completely chosen. But as it relates to this, if you identify as a female, not having the sex change operations, but if you identify as a female, you ought to be, be able to, a man ought to, biological man ought to be able to play in a, a biological female sport. Well, the answer, the short answer is yes. Somebody who is trans, okay. so, so, someone who is trans. But understand, Mr. Norman, um, the idea that people would do this in order to take advantage. You think? You think people are going to do this to take advantage? Hell yeah, they are. Leah Thomas was num number 400 and something in the men's swimming. And all he had to do was wear a couple of pink Speedos, put a little bikini on. You know, you have this six foot, uh, six foot four grown ass man swimming in the competition with women, breaking all their records. Testosterone level is high. Bone density is massive. Bruh, what are we doing here, man? Of, uh, of biological advantages, um, I think is, is just not correct. It's not true. It's called science. You cannot bend the laws of science just for the delusions of some people. Come on, bruh. What are we doing, bruh? And, and if you were to uh, see... Uh, some trans girls or trans uh, some trans girls participate in the sports. Um, I think for the most part you would see that um, you know they're girls, pretty much girls. Should Mike Tyson have you heard of him? Yes, I have. If he identifies as a female, she, should he be allowed to box? Well, look again. <laughs> That's a good one. Should he be allowed to box? Then? Box. Should Mike Tyson be allowed to box women if he just wears a couple of uh, a couple of pink shorts on, pink sneakers on, hell, put some pink uh, boxing gloves on and identify as M Mika or Mikarina or whatever, Mikarina Tyson. <laughs> so he should be allowed to get in a ring with biological women. This is Mike Tyson we're talking about, He's not an average human being. Dude looks like he was born with six pack already. You want him to fight women? Idiots. No, no, that's a very simple question. Because <laughs> you said yes, that if he identifies, uh, should he be allowed to enter a boxing match with a biological female? Well, the, I, I think there's there's room for, uh, as the NAACA there's no room. and the IOC, they've accepted trans women as athletes for many years. On a sport by sport, case by case basis, it's not an absolute. Um, it, it's not an absolute inclusion. But the answer is yes. He ought, if he identifies, he ought to be. Able to no, I didn't say. I didn't say that. No, and, earlier, you, you know, said. If you he, said what? yeah. According to your logic, that's what you mean. You can't. Ex you can't make an exception for Mike for Mike Tyson. He just what, what, all your all your drivel has just been leading to this. So you dug yourself a hole. And you're trying to dig yourself out of it. But basically what you said is basically what this man just put back on your table. This is what you said. So, that case, Mike Tyson, Hussein Bolt, um, Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua should be able to box females. Nah? LeBron should be able to play in the WNBA and smash all their records in one night. Well, look, Let me just ask you this. I thought earlier you said if you identify that, yes, that qualifies. What it, has, what it had to do with, with the question I think you're referring to is over uh, facilities. and, and uh, now, Man, Mike Tyson could slap and just kill someone. He could just slap, he could slap a full-grown man and kill him, let alone slap a woman. Come, nigga, come on, bro. Bathrooms, about if they, if they identify, if they want to participate. <clears throat> so uh, if you want to... A trans girl, a trans woman, if that's your, what you identify as, uh, I believe you should have the opportunity to participate in the sport that's consistent with your gender. You, you should be able, a trans girl needs to be able to participate. She identifies as a, I'm asking, if she identifies as a female. Yes. Uh, if, if she but identifies if, as a male, she ought to be able to compete. Yeah. Well, look, 
<laughs> the example you brought up of Mike Tyson uh, that brings up this image of this extraordinary athlete, Doesn't highly matter. developed musculature. Uh, you know, but the idea that that males, tra tra that trans trans women, that that's who trans women are, uh, or trans girls for that matter, are are these are these uh, uh, human beings that are going to take advantage. Uh, of you know the damage that would do to women. Having a biological man be in the same combat sports as them. Do you know the, the amount of damage? People are going to be killed. Do you know what you're talking about here? Are you crazy? You've lost your minds. I think a wall should be built around America to keep them from the rest of the world, man. This mind virus is getting... Nigga, it's getting too much now. This is, this is going too far now. There biological biological advantages i think that's a that's that's a misconception about participation have you looked at uh pictures of leah thomas i have compared is he I, uh is he obviously a male or is he a female i have well I that's a full grown ass man is not about most elite elite competitions it's about k-12 and college students and what this bill does it's a blanket ban over Overall participation of trans girls and women. Okay. But so the, the, this issue of elite that you, we're arguing about, we're, we're discussing elite competitions, and that I'm telling you is something that can be is is, her, is already being dealt with and doesn't need the government does not. I mean, I, I respect you, Mr. Norman. You have you have a, a, a defined philosophy about limitation of government, and I'm telling you that what this bill does it that, and be part of a community. It's all driven. Mark, I think you identify, I think you, it's Ms. Fox, I'll get right with you. I think what you're saying is, though, um, if, if, take Mike Tyson, take uh, any athlete, if he's male, biological male, that he can identify and then cross, cross, uh, compete, which, that's staggering that you're saying something like that. Quick because gentlemen. roll the clock back. Hell, well, yeah. 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 Quick here. question. Okay, go ahead. Would the gentleman yield for it? Are we talking about Mike Tyson, whether or not he identifies as a female? Yeah, to compete as where a have you been? Because this is one of, you know, there's a classification there. So he would be competing as a heavyweight boxer. I'm saying if he, if there's a women's boxing team that he qualifies for the weight, he can identify as, I think what Mark says, he can identify as a female and compete. But uh, what what is staggering is roll the clock back to a Mike Tyson when he was 12 years old. Uh, the stature hadn't changed. He was a biological man. But I think what Mark was kind, of, kind of saying is he can identify even when he was 12 and enter a woman's, uh, female's bathroom, and uh, which is staggering to me. If I don't know if you've talked to Riley Gaines as I have, uh, when you had Leah Thomas assaulting females, you could see his male genitalia. You could see well, that, and he was assaulting uh, young women. She's uh, on the assault, record with that. Assault, assault is not something that I would permit Assault is something that I would I would hope a prosecutor would prosecute. And if there's evidence that there was an assault, there should be a prosecution for that assault. That should not be permitted. Does that facilitate assault? What? Letting a man, letting uh, a biological man go into a female a biological female's bathroom. Wait, so he was in the, he was using the same bathroom as the girls, walking around with a swinging dick. What's going on here? Leah Thomas was doing that. He was allowed in the same bathroom as the girl as the other athletes, uh, swimming girls. The flip is going on here. Really? That would be so uncomfortable for those girls, man. I hope they spoke out. This is... What? What? Come on, man. That's going too far now. What I would say is a trans person, someone who, identi who is trans, who identifies, they, they should be able to use the facilities... Now, talk about traumatizing. ...they uh, identify with. But I want to go back and address this, uh, this notion of Mike Tyson. Um... Here again, we're talking about elite competition. Man, just shut up, man. You're going round and round in circles, man. You're saying the same thing. Elite competition, K-12 or whatever, that's where it starts from. If you go and let them compete in the same sports as the girls when they're, when they're kids in secondary school, high school or whatever, they, that's going to trickle down to the professional uh, areas. Come on, man. What are you talking about? It's going gonna, it's gonna to trickle down to the professional athletic competitions. The Olympics and all that stuff. Come on. Come on, man. So you're going to have, even when Leila Ali was in the top of her game, there's no way you can put Leila Ali in a direct combat sport, in a direct boxing match with a Mike Tyson 
or in the Van der Holyfield. Come on, man. What are we talking about here? These are women fighting men. It's the, ad the advantage men have. Men are so physically strong, you have no idea. <sighs> Don't protect your women, man. That's your own, that's your, that's your business, man. That's your business. A, a, a nation cannot rise any higher than the moral standards of their women. And your country is, is fucked. Pardon my French, but it's F-U-C-K-E motherfucking D is gone.